My sons now like Thomas and friends all engines go. And for their fourth birthday, they got the Race to the Sodor Cup playset. I might as well use that to my advantage and boost the analytics, baby! So let's review it. Before we start the video, I want to drop a message to anybody that's a fan of the Railway Review videos I've been doing. The queue for those videos will either be up here or up here. I'm still trying to figure it out. Sorry guys. I've not forgot about Railway Reviews. The episodes are coming, but I'm going in a bit of a new direction with them. And I want to take my time to make sure I get it just right. But I promise it will be the next video after this one. The Thomas and Friends All Engines Go Race for the Sodor Cup playset. In all honesty, I was expecting to hate this product. It's All Engines Go. It's meant to suck. But surprisingly, even though there are quite a few negatives, I actually found positives. Don't shoot the messenger. Just go in by how i seen it. So let's start with the positives. Number one, it was surprisingly easy to build. The Race to the Sodor Cup playset has roughly about 39 pieces. If you're a guy like me who isn't exactly good with building things, you need as much help as you can get. It was surprisingly straightforward to set up, only needed to use the screwdriver once, and I have to say I was okay with it. Let's go on to the second positive, the engines themselves. I still think that the design of the engines in all engines go is too childlike, too babyish, that's the market Mattel's going for. And as a 35 year old man reviewing a kid's toy, gotta to cut my bit slack. However, again, don't shoot the messenger. The engines that came with the set are the die cast metal style of engines. And that just takes me right back to when I was a kid playing with my Ertl Thomases. The die cast engines looked like they'd have just been plucked straight out of the screen. Whether you like them or not is open to interpretation but it's still a nice type of detail that when I was a kid we never had with the Erto models. That being said, original was definitely always the best. Let's move on to the negatives. I'm going to start with the ones that my kids actually pointed out. Again Mattel, this is your market, so if you don't take any of my notes on board, at least take theirs. My kids are pretty smart, they know what they're talking about. Let's start with the Race for the Sodor Cup billboard. On the billboard you have a picture of Kana, and Kenji, but the engines that come with the playset are Thomas and Kana. Thomas understandably has to be there, he's the marketable engine, he's the one that the kids are going to gravitate to. But when Kieran started playing with the playset, he took down the billboard for the race for Sodor Cup. So I asked him, Kieran, why did you take the billboard down? Was there something wrong with it? His response, no Thomas on Bilbo. Obviously he was trying to say billboard, but he's four. But it brought up an interesting point. If you're going to do a race with Thomas and Kana, make sure Thomas and Kana are on the billboard. Thomas is on the marketing for a reason, so keep it consistent. Speaking of Kana, she's too heavy for the playset. This is not me being sizest, just hear me out. When Thomas and Kana both start the race, Thomas always gets to the finish line first. Kana, once she's come down the loop in the bend, she stops dead. She doesn't have the momentum to get over that little dip in the track to get her to compete with Thomas. As such, to make it a fair fight, I had to go out and buy an All Engines Go Percy. That way both the engines were roughly the same weight and it made it a fair contest. Mattel, are you being extra sneaky trying to do that deliberately so I will buy another engine for this set? If so, very creative. If not intentional, I may have just found a loophole for you to get more money. Please send me profits. Now let's move on to the design of the track itself. I get the layout of the design is meant to be able to push the engines along, build up a bit of speed and make it an exciting race. The design however, it looks like a part of the male anatomy. Or for anybody who isn't a fan of, you know, vulgarity, look at it straight on. It looks like an elephant ears and trunk. Okay, now you've probably picked up on the vulgarity part of what it was meant to look like in my head. Again, I know, it's not marketed for someone of my age. Still, I couldn't help but have a bit of a giggle. The structure of the track. On the loop, they've got three bits that hold it up. They have three on either side. 
you put them on the parts where you connect the tracks and they should stay in place. They do not stay in place. Kids are like a herd of elephants. They will knock anything over in sight. And when my kids batter into the track, all those supports come flying off. And sure enough, it's left to me to fix it. And I had to give an overall review to the Thomas and Friends All Engines Go race for the Solar Cup playset. It does bring a bit of amusement. Heck, I'm 35 years old and I even like pulling the lever to set the engines off on the run. And if you're a parent of twins, having something that's quick to build is a massive plus point. I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed the set, how much my kids enjoyed the set, and for a slight moment it took me back to my own childhood when I played with my Ertl Thomas steam engines. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on chugging!